Hey everybody, in this video I'm going to show you how to play Bodies by the Sex Pistols off the Nevermind the Bollocks record. Uh, the song is in standard tuning and before we begin, please like and subscribe. It really helps my channel out a lot. And check out my website, scottobrienguitar.com. I have tab and a bunch of other resources there. And here we go. All right, so for this video, I am using my Fender 65 Reissue Twin Reverb Amp, and I'm using a Boss DS1 distortion pedal. I've got the distortion pretty dialed back. It's not very heavy. And the song starts out with this intro that goes like this. So real simply, we, I like to play it with my middle finger and my ring finger on the second fret and third fret of the low E string. So we're going to do a hammer on, and it's real quick. And then we're going to hit the second fret of the D string with our middle finger. Slower. And really you're kind of catching the end of that hammer on. It's not like a long hammer on. like it's kind of the end of it. And so we're going to do that. And then we're going to go back to the third fret of the low E and then open on the D. So. And there's a little bit of palm mute on the low E string when you're playing those notes. And then we're going to go back with that hammer on again and then to open. So all the way through. And then it just repeats that part. Now he kind of hits some other strings it, it, as he plays it. It's a little, a little different each time. So one of the times he plays it, he hits the open on the D and G string. So it goes. And he hits both of those notes. I think it's kind of ad-libbed and that might have been a mistake in the studio and it sounded cool so they left it in. Or maybe he intends to do that, I'm not sure. So real slowly that intro goes. Now we're gonna end with that E chord at the end, that E power chord. So that's just a three note power chord, second fret on the A and D strings, open on the low E. And then there's a second guitar in the background that's doing these kind of bends at the second fret of the G string like this. It's kind of up and down, mostly up. And then uh, a couple times through he's going to hit the open on the B string too, so it's going to be like... And just kind of a unison bend. And so then for the verse, he's going to play a rhythm that goes like this. So we're going to play a B, it's a major chord, but it's just the three note version, like the power chord. Um, so our index finger rooted at the second fret of the A string, and I like to bridge my ring finger across the fourth fret of the D and G, but you can also play it with your ring and pinky. And in order to do those accents, he's going to lift his index finger off the root and just play open there. So. So that's the basic rhythm, real slowly it's. And then he's going to switch to an F sharp chord, but in between he's going to do this kind of like Johnny Thunder's big slide up. So it goes. And then it goes to the F sharp. And it's real short on the F sharp. Same rhythm, just one time through. And then back to that beat. And so that's basically it for the whole verse part. He's just going to continue like that. 
Now, in the second and third verse, he does it a little differently, and uh, you can listen to the record to kind of hear it, but there's a little bit more palm muting, so he's just gonna palm mute that part. And sometimes he plays it a little bit straightforward, straighter time instead of the, instead of holding that note, he plays it straight. And then goes back to that F sharp. It's punk rock, so it's pretty loose. And then we go to the chorus. And for the chorus, it's going to go from a G to an A to a D to start, so it goes. And then we're gonna end on an A. So the first time he plays the chorus, it's mostly open chords. We're gonna start with this kind of power chord form or major chord form at the G. Then we're gonna to go to an A and it's gonna be just a three note like power chord form. So open on the A and second fret on the D and G. And then he's gonna play a D and he's gonna basically play the power chord version to start and then he kind of adds that, that accent on the second fret of the high E at the end. So if you're playing your D major chord, you're gonna start off with just open at the D second fret of the G and third fret of the B. And then towards the end, as it builds up, you're gonna add that um, middle finger at the second fret of the high E. And then he's gonna go back through. And then ending on the A again. Then back into the verse. So again, that first chorus goes like this. We go back into the verse and then so that's the way it's played the first time and then there's also an extended version of the chorus and there also sounds like there's since there's multiple layers of guitar on here there also sounds like there's a guitar playing like an accent at the 10th fret of the B and E when that D chord is being played so so when it's going when it goes there it sounds like there's another guitar going um, but it's really buried, so if you wanted to kind of add that accent, you could, but if not, the, the song still sounds the same. Now, the next time through the chorus, um, and he kind of like the verse, he plays it a little differently each chorus. It's very loose. You can kind of listen to it. Um, he's going to play the G the same. Then he's going to play the A up here. And then he's going to do the D at this position with the ind ear index finger at the fifth fret of the A string and your ring finger bridge across the seventh fret of the D and G strings. But he's gonna do this slide from the fourth position up. So he's gonna hold that form of that chord at the fourth fret with your root at the fourth fret and slide up into the fifth fret. So it sounds like. And even live, I've seen videos where he plays it like this. Um, so I, it's kind of loose, but on the record, there's at least one time where he does the in the second chorus, and I think in the third chorus he does it as well. So just listen to the record and see if you hear that. So this time for the extended chorus, we're going to play G to A to the slide with the D, then G, then A then D, then to A, then back to D, and then back to A. So it kind of goes back and forth between the D to the A. And also there's gonna be this kind of accent on the A, similar to how you play the at the B. With the A, you're just gonna lift off the second fret of the D and G strings with your index and um, middle finger.
when you're playing those accents. So the chorus sounds like this. And then it ends on that D, and then there's a pause, and then it goes back into the verse. So that's it for all the parts of the song. And then at the last chorus is gonna be this kind of extended chorus or, or kind of outro, where you're going back and forth between the D and the A. And then you're gonna let that D ring out, and then you hit the D again. So that's it for this one. I hope you liked the video. If you appreciate this content, please like and subscribe. It really helps my channel out a lot. And check out my website, scottobrienguitar.com for the tabs to this song, as well as tabs for lots of other songs and other resources. And I'll see you guys next time.